Hey dolls, it's me, Jade B, and I am back with an update on my minimalist-ish journey. So, crazy thing. Well, I had actually already videoed this update, so I thought. Um, I don't know what happened. So all the other videos that I did on that same day, I could find, and I cannot find this video. So I'm going to redo it, which is fine because... Since I did that update, I've actually done more stuff. So I was like, well, it kind of works. So anyway, so I'm going to try to remember kind of what I covered in the last one because I couldn't find my notes. But um, anyway, I was, oh, this out first. So I was at lunch with a couple of friends and I was telling them about this journey that I was going to try again for the umpteenth time because I really just wanted to, you know, really commit to doing this and committing to doing it like I should. So one of my friends was telling me about Con Marie's book, The Life-Changing Art of Tidying Up. So I've actually been listening to it. It, it was very, very interesting. I really liked her whole approach. Um, she talked a lot about, um, you know, going through the different things and actually looking at things and picking out the things that spark joy. And those are the things that you keep. So I was like, okay, okay, spark joy. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try this. It sounds a little crazy, but I'm going to try this. Because at first I was like, I don't know. But then I thought, you know what? She's worked with all these people and um, it works. And, and it seems to, like I looked at her following and all this stuff. I was like, whatever she is talking about, has really worked for a lot of people so I'm gonna give this a try gotta be open-minded and give it a try so I did so I decided to um, she has an app so I downloaded her app and it was very very like it was it took um, each different area and each different thing and kind of mapped it out and you can put um, due dates on it and everything and kind of track so I like this because I like any app that will help me track so I said for some reason I am going to start with books in hindsight, it wasn't the best place to start, but that's where I started, so forgive me, because I, I, I started getting books together, and she said, you have to get all of that certain item in one place and then go through it at one time. You can't do it like room for room because, you, you know, store different stuff in different places, and so if you do all of one certain thing at a time, then you'll be totally done with it and you can go through every single solitary thing. So I got all the books together and then I underestimated how much I love books. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is going to be hard. So I said, okay, I'm going to do this. So I sat down very seriously and I picked up each book and I was like, does this book spark joy? And I was very shocked and surprised at my answer. Some of them that I was like, oh no, I never want to give this book up. When I really looked at it, I was like, yeah, I like this book, but does it really spark joy? Do I see myself reading it over and over again? And the answer to quite a few of them were no. So I got through that and it was like, it was weird. It was like this boost of like energy, like, yes, I can do that. So then I started going through my DVDs and that was a lot easier than what I thought it would be. So that was cool. Um, and then I started on clothes. So. This is the, this is the funny part because I did my underwear <laughs> and for all of you ladies out there, it's just like, there are a lot of underwear that you look at and you're like, that underwear does not spark joy, but I need that underwear for a certain time of the month. And so you want to hold on to it. But I said, nope, nope, nope. I am a big girl and I am going to do this and I'm not going to keep underwear that I shouldn't be keeping. So I did that with my underwear and my socks and my t-shirts and I actually looked up, you know, the method for folding, which is amazing. Her method for folding, the last time I went on a trip to visit my mom, I used this method to fold my clothes and I literally cut my, um, I had one, what, I guess one, one like small suitcase when usually I would have a small suitcase a bag for shoes and then another bag so it was like I got even got my shoes in there too by the way of this folding this new method of folding and then you know stacking them back so I was like 
wow, this is pretty awesome. So I really like that. I know I'm all over the place because I'm trying to add last video with this video. And so with my new update, with my last update, but, um, anyway, I digress. Y'all know I'm, I'm running, I'm running them. So we'll just, just go with it for now. So anyway, so I'm like, okay, I'm going through my shirts and everything. And I'm actually still going through parts of my clothes. I gotten the bulk of my clothes done and now I'm into, um, I think I have dresses left and dresses and something else that seems like, oh, coats, dresses and coats and like, like outer covering clothes. I have those left, but it, it's amazing how much I was able to, just by asking the question, does this spark joy? I was able to really make a decision. I also had a couple of things that, um, that like when I got through those items of clothes, it's like my, um, my tops. When I got through my tops, there was something crazy that I realized. Like I had more in the going out pile than the keeping pile, which made me have some anxiety. And I started going, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. I can't get rid of this much stuff. Then I realized a lot of that stuff that was in the pile that, um, was going out that was either I was donating it or I was putting it up for sale because some of them still had tags on them. Um, a lot of them I just didn't wear. Like I said, some of them still even had tags on them. So it was like, there's no reason for me to have anxiety about giving something away that I'm not even wearing. So that really put a big like click in my head of why am I holding on to this stuff? Because I'm usually better at this why all of a sudden am i wanting to hold on to something that i'm not even wearing so now i've noticed that my clothes that are left are actually clothes that i have either worn in the last 30 days or recent purchase to like replace something that i was like okay i need to donate that but i need to replace it i replaced a couple of things so um so everything that's in my closet now it's like okay these are stuff that i will actually wear and that's the whole point, was to have clothes that you'll actually wear. So that's been really great. So I'm really like enjoying it. I'm getting momentum. I want to do more faster, but um, I'm learning with me and I have to kind of take my time. So I'm looking at my notes here. And so that is one of the biggest things that I have taken away from this journey, that I have to go at my own pace. Yes, I don't want to take forever to do it, but because I have part of my stuff here and part of my stuff in storage and I'm getting ready to move, if I don't go at my own pace, I will start having these regrets of, did I get rid of something that I was, did I get rid of something that I'm going to need when I move? And that is the problem that I'm kind of having, like, if you get rid of that, you know, are you going to need it when, you're gonna, when you want to move? So as I'm having the anxiety on this, I am still, you know, listening to her book and she starts talking about envisioning your space. Now this right here has been the best thing for me. It's actually made the anxiety go down a little bit because she talks about envisioning what you want your space to look like and what you want everything to look like and writing that down and then you can kind of target. So I'm summarizing. So that's what I've done. So I envisioned what I want the new space to look like color schemes and everything and so now when I look at things I can go will this fit in this new space that I'm going to have now I'm going to have to apologize because in my last video I said I'm not doing this whole black and white thing and then the more and more I thought about it I realized you know doing a like a basic thing throughout the house and then doing a pop of color in each room is actually a really, really good idea. So I have to apologize because I have decided that I am going with a basic theme of, um, actually I'm going with white, grays, and silvers throughout the whole house. And then each room will have an accent color. So that way, everything in each room can be interchangeable between rooms and also with my suite, those are the basic color schemes in my suite too. So I can also have everything be interchangeable. So if I buy something thinking, oh, this is a good place to add, and then I'm 
later go, this doesn't have a place here. It has a chance of having a place at any other room in my house. So I say house. Actually, I'm looking at a studio. So it has a place at any other. It could have a place any place else. So that to me has really, it has made me be able to breathe easier because when I make a purchase, I can go, okay, I have this idea to have in my living room. Then when everything is in, if it doesn't work, I can go, well, maybe this will work in my suite. Because now the color schemes for everything is the same, except for the accent colors. And so I'll go ahead and tell you the accent colors because I was excited that I came up with this. When she said envision your space and I sat there and I closed my eyes, this all came to me really quick. So I was like, okay, this is a thing. So I'm doing grays, whites, and silvers, and like mirror, like I like anything reflective, so mirrors. Um, and then in my living room, I'm doing purple. In my bedroom, I'm doing black. In the back room, pink. And in the kitchen, a like burgundy, um, maroon type color. So um, have it exactly laying down the, like it's going to have to be kind of deep because I'm using a deep purple in the living room and everything is kind of interconnected. So. It's actually just made life so much easier to just envision. Now, I have not done that in my clothes. It almost seems like I have done it in my clothes because I notice bottoms wise, I wear a lot of either black or I, I wear black leggings or um, blue jeans or I wear a dress. So I've kind of done it. I like my tops to be different even though today I'm wearing a black top with a yellow underneath. But um, I say I haven't done it with my clothes but it almost feels like I've done it with my clothes. So who knows. In like a month you might just see me wearing all black all the time. And that's it. So I don't know. I doubt that because I do like yellow. That's why I have on yellow. But um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm still like finding my way through this journey. I do like colors, but I, but there is one thing great about black. When you wear all black, because I am a makeup artist, doing crazy eye makeup looks and different colors is so super easy because you don't have to worry about anything clashing. So that's the only plus side about going all black. So no, never know. I may, I may do it. I may do it. So we'll see. But anyway, I hope that this update has been helpful for you if you are kind of like me and you're like, I want to do this, but I, I can't be totally, totally extreme because of different aspects in my life require that I have an overabundance with certain things. It's just remembering what actually sparks joy. And if that sparks joy in your life, I hold on to it. Um, for me, it's all about pretty much just decluttering my life and all the stuff that you have that you just never even look at or pick up. And so for me, I've been, um, what's made some things a little bit easier is knowing that a lot of the stuff that I am not keeping, I'm going to donate. So even though I haven't gotten any use out of it, someone will be able to get use out of it. And so that, that makes my heart happy knowing that, okay, yeah, I'm not going to keep all this stuff, but someone else will get use out of it. It's not like it's going to just go in the trash. Cause I, I mean, unless something is broken or has holes or rips in it, I'm not throwing anything away. I'm just donating everything. So it's, it's one of those things where you can go, I don't have it, but at least someone else will. And it's decluttering my life. And that's the biggest thing that I want to do right now. I just want to have a life that is decluttered and be able to focus on the things I want to focus on without having all this stuff because all this stuff is causing me so much anxiety. But anyway, I will see you probably in a few weeks with another update. Until then, declutter your life and stay gorgeous.